Hey guys, today we talk about the Black Cement 3s. Tune in. Hey guys, welcome to Cost Station where we talk sneakers. My name is Zoe, and if you're here for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button and even that notification bell so you don't miss any dope sneaker content. So the sneaker you've all been waiting for, the Air Jordan Retro 3s in the black cement colorway. Man, oh man, these bad boys right here are dope sauce. I'm lusting over these sneakers, man. They're really awesome in my personal opinion. You guys have seen plenty of reviews already. You already know how it looks, so I don't have to go into much detail. Just letting you know that I cop them, I adore them, and I actually got two pairs. One to rock and one to stock. As a matter of fact, I'm rocking them right now. So overall, I think that this sneaker is very wearable, but you can't go overboard with it. Um, I mean in terms of outfits and styling. You probably need to be really simple with this sneaker because I feel like this sneaker is the statement piece. You know, you have to go with the ordinary whites, grays, blacks, and of course red. And possibly, you know, toss in a little bit of green if you're looking to style it with some streetwear. In addition to that, I know that people have a love-hate relationship with Jordan 3s and I don't personally understand why because these are one of my top you know, five Jordans for sure and I think they're really stylish and I, Tinker Hatfield did an amazing job in my personal opinion. I think that Nike did the correct thing by removing the big Nike sign that Tinker originally wanted on this sneaker and made this sneaker a, you know, historical feat when it comes to Jordan sneaker. So big ups to Tinker as always. He always does, well not always, but most of the time he does a really amazing job with his sneakers. So getting into the sneaker review, you guys have already seen before so I don't have to talk too much about it. You have your elephant print here at the front of the sneaker, also at the back of the sneaker. You have that nice Nike Air at the back that everybody adores. The Leather looks really nice in general for the most part on the top portion of the sneaker and also you have that Jumpman logo at the top of the tongue there as well. Overall, a dope shoe like I said before and I appreciate them. That's why I ended up getting two pairs, one to rock, one to stock and boom, you gotta have it for me at least. You gotta have these sneakers in your sneaker collection. So pricing wise, I really appreciated that you know Nike brought the price down a little bit by you know reducing it by 20 bucks or so. Overall, you know, sneakers, Jordans, they shouldn't be greater than 200 bucks. All of them should be less than 200 bucks, period. Nothing has changed. I don't care if it costs more to make them. They should not be more worth more than $200. They should not be more than 150 in my personal opinion but anyways big ups to jordan brand for getting these sneakers down to the 200 price point sizing wise i would definitely go true to size got these bad boys in a 12 and a half yeah jordan 3s get a little bit uncomfortable you know after you've worn them for a few hours but overall you would probably be safe going true to size if you can go to your local sneaker boutique to try them on and get your right size. Casa question of the day. So going back to what I was stating earlier about the love-hate relationship with Jordan 3s, let me know down in the comment section why you love Jordan 3s or why you hate Jordan 3s. Let me know and let's talk about it, people. So my sneaker talk is up for today, people. Please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe for your boy for the one time if you enjoyed the video hit that notification button and i'll see you guys all on the next episode of casa station deuces